Hi guys, so welcome to fourth grade, chapter two, lesson six. All right, go ahead and get started. So on these, it wants you to multiply using expanded form, like we were doing before with the boxes. Um, but this one, it wants you to try to do it without the boxes. Now you can, or if you absolutely need the boxes, you make them. Okay, so eight times four is 32, and then add that zero one, and eight times three is 24. You add those guys up, four, four, three. So 344. Now to remind you how to do it with the boxes, we're gonna go eight times four is 32, add that zero one, eight times three, 24. You would still add those two up and still get 344, okay? So I want you guys to do three and four. We're gonna do number five because it's a big whopping one and I'm gonna show you how to do it with the model, okay? So yes, you can absolutely do it with expanded form like this, okay? We want to, okay. We are going to try it with the model and see how that does it and how that works for us, okay? So on the side, I'm gonna put four, okay? Now, I'm still gonna break it up by place. So I'm gonna put 2,000 right there, 300 right there, 70 right there, and one right there, okay? So, let me grab another color so y'all can see what I'm doing here. So now four times two is eight, plus those three zeros, four times three is 12, plus those two zeros, four times seven is 28, plus the one zero, and four times one is four. So now I'm gonna just gonna come over next to it, and I'm gonna write those down. When you get to these big whopping numbers, this model is very helpful, okay? So when I add them all up, Four, eight, four, nine. So now, nine, four, eight, four, and don't forget your comma. Okay? So, on number six, I'm going to help you, and we're going to do it the expanded form way. Okay? Just so that you guys have tools. Okay? So, we're going to go seven times 1,000. We're going to go seven times 800. We're going to go 7 times 20 and 7 times 9. Now, we're still going to line those up. We're still going to add them up when we're done. Okay? So 7 times 1,000, 7,000. 7 times 8 is 56 plus those two zeros. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 1 zero. And 7 times 9 is 63. So now we're going to add them up. Okay, zero is all the way down to our three, four plus six is 10, carry that one, one plus six is seven, plus one more is eight, and seven plus five is 12, okay? So, whichever way you feel comfortable with, go ahead and do it that way, okay? You guys do seven and eight, so you're gonna do three and four, seven and eight on your own. Then you're gonna turn it over and you're gonna do the lesson check, okay? You guys totally can, I believe in you, okay? So this says, what is another way to write nine times 200 on spiral review, okay? So nine times, we can do nine times 20 and we can do nine times 10. And that would be another way, okay? There's our 20, and then with a zero, we will multiply it by 10, okay? All right, so what is the value of the digit four in 46,000? Well, here's the really cool thing. These ones are easy ones because we just drop down the number that it wants. 
then we count how many numbers are after it, one, two, three, four, and that's how many zeros we put. So 40,000, okay? All right. Chris bought six packages of napkins for his restaurant. There were 200 napkins in each package. How many napkins did Chris buy? Well, 200 times six, well, six times two is 12, and then I have to add on those two zeros. 1,200 napkins, okay? All right, guys, last one. Write these in order from least to greatest, okay? So we have, we need to look for the smallest one. They all start with eight, okay? Two, one, and five are our next numbers. Well, that one is obviously the smallest, so our first one is gonna be eight, one, two, five. Okay, our next one, which, take that one, okay? Our next one, there's a two and there's a five, so it's gonna be this one. So, eight, two, five, one. Okay, and that takes that one off, okay? Our last one, eight, five, one, two, okay? All right, you guys got it. Good job on 2.6, come on back for 2.7.